This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hi everybody and welcome to Let's Play Joan of Arc. I am here with Az and Jerry and we're playing another one of the 1.5 Joan of Arc rules. Nicely done, well done. Yeah, this is this is our chance to kind of relook back at some of the initial scenarios. This is a core box scenario, the Battle yep. of Crazy. If um, I remember right, we've done this one once before. Yes, we're basically coming back and revisiting it. We've done some balance tweaks. We've added, we've kind of stripped out some of the rules that were making it a little bit kind of uh, convoluted and we've, we've really brought this to the table in a really exciting way now. And um, so with the new Kickstarter, it's giving us a chance to kind of go back to it. We've taken kind of one of the civilians, the execution route, and we've kind change the deployment a little bit to make it feel really, really thematic now. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to basically jump in. We're going to do some of it on camera, the setup, actually, this last crucial stage, because yeah. this battle, I mean, Jerry can give us a bit more information, but this battle mm -hmm. was a huge, huge defeat for the French. They vastly outnumbered the English, and they kind of foolhardily went charging at an entrenched English force. There had been rain, the mud, the ground wasn't suitable, and they sent in, first of all, their crossbowmen. And we're actually picking up this scenario as that's just gone terrible. Basically, yeah, gone awry. You got it. So we have Jerry's got ten tokens over here, uh, yeah. and on he's going to get them a little random. And what we're going to do is uh, six of those tokens are blank, but four of them yeah. actually represent these genuine crossbowmen. Oh yeah, yeah. You so go. if I so call that out, it's these go. guys here, these guys, and that represents a base of crossbowmen. Yeah, that's it. So this is so essentially what happened is um, the French kind of arrived a little late. They they left behind their caravan and their supplies, and the genuine crossbowmen went out without their shields to try and engage the English longbowmen, and it did not go well. It, there's there's a mix of different kind of historian um, crossbow accounts. versus longmen, <laughs> but it looks like they, Darn, they merely yeah. got one or Darn two longbowmen. volleys off and then yeah. turned and, and fled. Yeah. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to actually randomize the deployment a little bit because they're scattered, they're routed. Right. Um, so Jerry, you can go ahead and pop them no. out across the middle. So Jerry's playing others. 10 crossbowmen Monte. Yeah, so this is this is essentially where the battle's just begun. The Genosi crossmen have had essentially no effect at all and are now routing and scattered. And the French have just declared it's all out charge time. We're going to send the cavalry at the English. And if you hit any of the crossmen in the way through, so wait. take them out. Take them out. So they're actually not going to be controlled by either of you in this scenario, but they will be quite important. So let's find out where they start. All right, flip so we over. flip this now. Yeah, flip them all now. So this right. gives you a bit of randomization when you start this scenario each time. So you're both going to have to deal with what happens here. Okay. Oh, look at that. So we'll take the four units across when I put them in their, their areas, and then we can remove all the tokens. Just gives us a little bit. Shows you the scattered nature um, of this field first skirmish. Okay, so we have two to the right of the French, mm. one in the far, far right, and then one to the left. Yeah. So it does leave, crucially, a little bit of space in, in the, the middle. Yeah. So why is this so important? So, I mean, the, the goal of this scenario is, is relatively straightforward for both sides. We have the kings of both respective countries. So you're both out for blood. And historically speaking, the banners were raised, so both sides were aware that there were going to be no prisoners taken. This mm -hmm. was a, a, a bloody battle. So I'll just read it to make sure it's clear. So uh, playing as the English, if you manage to take out Philippe the Sixth and any other one French character, which could be John of Luxembourg, or it could also be, who is your third French Charles, character? Charles II. If yeah. you manage to take two of them, destroyed or disrupted, you shall win, Justin. Or also, if you manage to take a total of 12 French and Genoese units out mm -hmm. at one time. So if they're all either yeah. destroyed or disrupted, that'll give you the day and, and the French will be routed. Okay. For yourself, Jerry, you are after the Black Prince and Edward III, the king himself. If you manage to destroy or disrupt both of them, you yeah. will take the day and, and rewrite history. Or if you actually manage to break through the English lines and destroy their caravan, their two wagons at the back um, of, of their deployment, you will also achieve victory that way. Okay, do you? Taking out the baggage train is always good fun. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Do um, they have much in the way of defence, your baggage train? At um, the moment... I think they just die if you hit them. <laughs> That's the best news I've heard all day. That's exactly right. Essentially, if you roll anything but a shield when attacking a wagon, they are stationary. They're mm. just open. There's, there's nothing there to, to hold the ground. Now, Justin could put troops back in there, but his rally point is also there as well. So it's, he's going to have yeah. to think about how he defends them. Yeah. Uh, you see, my rally point is really far back on this. Yep. And I think if I have any troops recycling, if this is an all-out French attack, yep. I want them kind of running up to the front and not just Absolutely. going, OK, this is far enough. Wait here. Wait here. Form a line. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, I want to mention a couple of special rules that are quite important. Um, first of all, um, Henry III um, saw this as an opportunity for the Black Prince to really get a bit of experience, it's yep. for him to sort of earn his spurs as such. So he will not be able to share any areas with more than three other units. I see, so he uh, currently has three mates around him. That's it, he has some foot knights um, and some, uh, I think it's sergeant at arms with him there. Yep. And essentially he can have other units come in, but never more than three with him. Mm -hmm. 
Also, the French are very much looking at a full out charge. Mm -hmm. And this, this board we have here is representing the territory the English took between the town of uh, Crissé over here. And uh, I'm going to get this. Leo was here. He'd murder me. It's Varicor over on the other flank. So mm -hmm. essentially, the French are not allowed to have their cavalry go into any village areas. So they are, in fact, pretty much forced to, to think about it. And that's to replicate the feeling of this battle. Yeah. Cool. So I think we're probably good to get the first round started. We'll pick up everything else as we go. Four command orders. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Justin, four for you. Thank you. And four for you, Jerry. Now, uh, this is the council phase, isn't it? This is indeed. Phase one is the council phase. I'm just going to give the War Council deck a little shuffle, yeah. and I'm going to reveal three of these cards. And the first player is Jerry, in this case, uh, playing the French. So the first War Council card we have is a command order. Then we have the ability to trade a command order for a charge. Or, this is quite interesting, we have a charge order on its own, or you can choose the ability to move your rally point and rally one unit. Now, the rally one unit, of course, at this stage is not very useful, but mm -hmm. could let you move your rally point, gain a charge, gain a command, or trade a command for a charge. So, Jerry, you're up. You this, is, this is all hilarious. Where can <laughs> I move my rally point to? Now, essentially, this is to represent, you know, this, the commander is basically mm. saying, this is now the point that the army is going to move to. So you actually can move it anywhere. But anywhere you say. Importantly, yes. this is where all reinforcements, all units that yes. get disrupted and mm. come back will come on. Uh -huh. If your opponent gains control of your rally point, it really could be the end I of the game. I love you, yeah. Yep. So but doing? it could be hilarious. It could be very <laughs> if very. I just put it behind him and force people to go back into the corner and stand there. If you if you were able to completely represent this flank around, that would be pretty epic. Risky I, to the max, but well, really. Like, I, would, I would just activate this, grab the blacksmith, and have him stand there, going, "No, no, no, you're not allowed to be here." Didn't say that's you where were. I was going to go. <laughs> what are you thinking? Just sticking you out in a corner would be so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. The boldness already. This is this is great because the, there was yeah. definitely a disagreement between. Oh, wow. uh, oh ah. you are going for the full flank. Yep. Okay. So Jerry's popped his. Now you've popped your rally point into a four zone, which means you'll only be able to rally up to four units at a time. But that's, that's probably that, that's more than sufficient. Yeah, none none will be no. hurt. Now John Chandos has an ability for the council mm -hmm. phase for you, which we're going to trigger. Yeah. So I I'm going to pick an extra command order just to start yep. the bidding mm -hmm. but his ability is during the the council phase I draw a myth card yeah so in this case uh, we have the legend deck which is a tactical or myth and we've got the tactical deck with us because it is a historical tactical battle with no angels or devils or dragons in this one. Oh, that's interesting Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, it's interesting. Um, you both actually started with a little bit of experience as well. Mm -hmm. And it's worth noting with the 1.5 rules, we're not going to be paying upkeep. But you do have Edward III, the king. It starts at level two. Yeah. Um, and if, I think you have as well a Charles, as it starts at level two with yourself. Yeah. Yeah, Charles, Charles is level, level two. two as well. And I've got the option to upgrade Philip the sixth. So we could have king, upgraded king versus mm. upgraded king. <laughs> That's it. That is the Council Fears over, so we move essentially to the player turns. Okie dokie. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. Grand Fab Groovy. Uh, importantly, I do have one interrupt order as well. Yes, so you're yeah. always going to have to, anytime you've got an interrupt, or indeed if your opponent has intrigue tokens, you must always, between your orders, ask if they want to take an action, um, because they may interrupt your orders or play an intrigue part. Right. Before I kick off, did we mention the fact my knights can't go into yes. the villages? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Absolutely. So, where do I want to go? I don't like the Genoese crossbowmen. They just annoy me. Yeah. It's a tricky thing because, again, if, if, for the if last you end time. up with, uh, with 12 mm. French and Genoa C uh, units skilled, you will win. Well, you see, the good thing is if I get close to that 12 mm -hmm. and there's still Genoa C units out there, yeah. Genoese. I, oh, Genoese. <laughs> I can just have a go at them because the only thing that doesn't harm them is a shield, isn't it? That's right. Essentially, they are, they're routed. They're not defending themselves. If you roll an attack into them, anything but a shield will take them. Yeah. In case people are wondering at home, the Genoese got sent out in front of the army by morons. <laughs> no shields. And when things went wrong, they didn't have purveyors with them and they started to retreat and the French knights started hurling abuse at them and then cut them down as they attempted to retreat past. Because that always makes sense when, feature, when facing a superior force yeah. is to cut down your own men. So, well, I'm going to start the bidding. So we have put Jerry in a tough spot, putting him not right at the very start of the battle, but at this key moment, this yeah. pivotal point. So, they're going to move forward. Now I have, I have to thing. roll for we do. Uh, Luxembourg. So John of Luxembourg has an ability, because he historically was a little bit uh, devil may care with the side he fought for. He, he flip-flopped a little. So we have to roll this black dice for Jerry. And on now, a one and six... when he attacked or when he activates? It's when no, he activates. When activates. Oh, right. So on a, on a, a, a kill... No. no. On, on a kill, what would have happened is Justin would have gotten to choose what John did. A one and six chance. <laughs> Stab someone in the back. That really could have happened. Yeah. But no, we're fine. He's holding his colours. 
don't want to go. Actually, he can go in there. Now he's cavalry, so he can't. Oh, he can't go in there because he still counts as cavalry. Right. Yep. He is mounted. Okay. I'll put him forward then. Because uh -huh. why not? And Jerry's force, well, he's having to think, is primarily made up of mounted knights. He also has a, a lot of uh, heavy infantry, but they are further behind because they were lagging behind in, in, the, in the army's kind of war train. So he has some uh, bougier um, halberdiers, essentially, and also man at arms. Uh, sorry, sergeant at arms as well. And there are some peasants as well that he's kind of gathered from the town and rallied with them too, who are obviously a little more ineffective. So we'll see if he wants to use them. So. And you'll get the chance if you wish to interrupt. Never. Do you want to interrupt before no, I move no, again? No, I'm, I'm totally fine right now. Okay, okay that's good to hear. I'm going to move into there. So that's two units of Vougier and one unit of Sergeant at Arms moving mm -hmm. across. Now I will interrupt. Oh, okay. Because I, I just noticed something that I can do which is quite sneaky. Okay, let's see it. Where are you going to so activate? So what I'm going to activate is actually here. Mm -hmm. So I will take control of the blacksmith as a bonus action, yep. which will gain me two intrigue. Yeah, so that's recruiting him. Now, it will not gain you intrigue right away because you're recruiting him, but if you discuss with him, mm -hmm. you will gain the intrigue, but it does mean he will disappear. I am more than happy to do that right now. You're going to start a discussion? I'm going to start a discussion. So who, importantly, just in case, because you do have two choices, you have two characters that share the space of the blacksmith. So you have um, the Earl of uh, Arundel, and you also have Edward III himself. Which one do you want to have the discussion with him, just in um, case? I'll have the Earl okay, have so, a word with him. So grab the blacksmith um, discussion cards. Remember Actually, the, no. Oh. It's... It's Edward the Third there, so yeah. I'll have him because have he's you, level two. You're going to have your king. Yes, because he's level two. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle up the level one uh, blacksmith cards. I'm going to let Justin randomly pick one. Yeah. So and I get two of these. You get two. Now, because we're discussing with him, the blacksmith will be removed. You just take him off the this board. That's fine. That's right. And you get two intrigue. Now, what happens is the scenario with Joan of Arc 1.5 will now tell you how many intrigue you get. So the civilian and the priest are both with one intrigue in the scenario, and the blacksmith is worth two. So just tap one so I know which one you're picking. Uh, I'll pick that one. Okay, so I'm going. Now, tell me, you're doing this with Edward III. Yes. Does he have charisma? He does. So you're going to be able to choose any of the options I'm going to present to you. Okay. So the blacksmith. You can say to him, the way you check the balance of your swords tells me you know your way around a blade. Can you tell me if I can find some fighters in town with such able hands? Mm -hmm. Or you can say, Vespers is long past, but you're still working some express order to complete. So you're trying to find out what he's working on. Mm -hmm. Or there is an unholy option, which because of charisma, you'll have available to you. This workshop reeks of sulfur. Does the devil guide your arm during your labor? Or a challenging red intrigue, uh, sorry, discussion question would be the holy one. The sword I see displayed here seems worthy of St. George. Did you get it? Aside for a well, or did you get it aside for a well known knight of this land? So he might have something quite epic, but it's very risky as to whether you get that or not. So you can find out what he's doing with his swords, what he's mm. working towards. You can ask him why he's rushing for something. You can ask him if he's the devil is guiding his hand, or if he has a sword worthy of St. George at, God, a, at a risk. God wills it. Let's go with the risky holy one. Okay. Indeed. This is a holy sword, but the Lord in question prefers discretion and doesn't want his name to be known. It's going to ask you to test one red dice, and I'll let you roll it, and then I'll tell you what the result's going to give you. Okay. But you will have the option to re-roll because of, of that charisma, charisma ability. Yeah. Huh. So a shield is not what you're after. So if you got a kill or a disrupt, you would gain an intrigue token, and you would draw two legend cards and get um, to keep one. I get to roll. On a shield you would lose an intrigue token. So you're going to re-roll. Re All right. You get a push. No, you're going to lose an, an intrigue token if you had it, which you don't. Oh, sorry, a, a legend okay. token. Sorry, forgive a me, a legend token if you had oh, it. All right, sorry. So you're fine. You have no legend tokens. Um, and you would also have to... Uh, no, you're fine. It was just discarded. So actually, you, you skied. However, if you wanted to, you have the option to spend a, a, a legend token to ask a level two question. I but don't. you don't have any. If, had you rolled a kill or disrupt, you would have gained legend and you would have got a card and a bit more ah, knowledge about yeah. what's happening. This is fine. What I really wanted was that intrigue. Yep. Because now I've got two and my intrigues allow me to mess with Jerry a little bit during okay. his turn. Awesome. As an interrupt or yep. as just pushing him out of mm -hmm. position. And don't forget, you obviously have your, you still have your actions to tech with your characters in the area you activated. So would you like to move yeah. or what do you like to do with them? Yeah, I think I, I, think I will. So I'm going to move... Let's see. So hang on. The king can do two hexes away, yep. or two areas away, mm -hmm. in order of three people. He is a fantastic command. Edward, two hexes so, away, up to three units he can command. He'll move to here. Yep. Now, you won't be able to command now, of course, because you're using an interrupt, not a command order. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. And then I will have the other one. So the earl. The earl 
he's going to come across to here. Nice. As well. Giving your bowman some defense. The king himself respecting the longbowman. Yep. So I'll put that cube out of the way because okay. I'm done. And it's back to Jerry's turn. Damn that blacksmith not giving you giving the English any help. Clearly he was French. Didn't want to help, actually. I, I would hope so. <laughs> hope Perhaps I asked French him in English. English. Well, see, it, again... I, I very much doubt it. You were, after all, the king. You probably only spoke French. Uh, fair oh, point. Oh, yes, so, of course. Or maybe Latin, if you were yeah. educated. Okay. Mostly French, I would assume. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. back to you, Jerry. Yes, Jerry, what would you like to do? Okie dokie. Uh, I will... Let's ruffle stump some Genoese. Oh, no, per guys. Oh, he's using the charge as well. It's worth, if you charge, essentially a normal order is absolutely fine here. It, it is. Because a charge would let you move and attack. So mm. because they're right adjacent to you, it's not going to give you really any benefit. You might want to keep it for when you want to move and hit the English lines. But No, I'm, I'm planning on hitting the English line now. Oh, okay. And really? George, well, the cavalry can all move too. You will have, have, you will have to attack the, the, you the have to attack the first. first. Yeah, I, I, thought, have, yeah. I thought you just removed the general. No, you, have, you do you have to attack them. All right. So a normal order to, oh, to slay case, your men. It will men. just be a normal order then. Yeah, I'm afraid you can't just run them down. Well, you could. I you could. could. That, that would mean you more than likely will. You'll need to stick the knife in. It's very likely you That's will. That's very dull. <laughs> um, okay, then. So order there yeah. uh -huh. to attack the Genoese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I mean, essentially, you'd roll all of your dice, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, there are, I have there. to roll that, for Luxembourg yeah. first. Yeah. Oh, so hit. he's fine. So then I can... You could roll all attack. your dice, but really, we're just looking for anything that's not a shield, so... Uh, <laughs> I think you're, you're I think all we're there. looking at eight red dice plus, oh. plus your, your characters. I'll do the red dice. Oh, yeah, they're, 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 they're traitors oh, or cars, whichever they are. They are a smear on your... Terrible Horses. cowards. So I will take them though, because they count as the one of the twelve yep. that the English require for the win. And I can you follow up in. You absolutely yeah. can. Oh, here we go. Okay, dokie. So in there we have Charles. We now have John of Luxembourg as well, and we have four units of mounted knights. Mm -hmm. I'm going to interrupt. Oh, how are you doing this? Uh, with an heavy, intrigue, heavy yep. bombard for the intrigue. Yep. yep. So, choose uh, an area occupied by enemy units. These units can't move. For the remainder of the turn. That's Talking to that blacksmith uh, turned out be to be... That one? That's fine. Mm -hmm. No, it says I can't move. It doesn't say I can't attack. Essentially, you'll not be able to leave the area. But I can still attack. Yes. Yeah, you can murder the, the bowman if yep. you want. Absolutely. I'll, I'll murder the bowman then. Yep. Thank you for the offer. Ooh. All these poor bowmen are in trouble. Well, you know, uh, well, I only get two white dice. And versus... again, Luxembourg's fine. Yep. Luxembourg is fine. Is that... All right, so we've got all your mounted knights red dice, so it's two per unit, four units, so eight reds. Then mm -hmm. Charles on top of that. <laughs> four, six, eight of them. Charles and um, John as John well. John as well. <laughs> so John, despite gets his two red on a black, wavering <laughs> tendencies is very strong in yeah. attack. All right. So this does not include Charles. Does Charles get anything different? Let's see. Um, no, actually, no, so there's no reason ahead. not to do him yep. as well. So he gets a red and a yellow. Oh my word. Oh, pain. Yep. Very dead. I'll get rid of some shields there. So we're looking at, oh my goodness, we're looking Very at dead. five kills. Mm. And then we're looking at I don't think I can do three disrupts. That. No, yeah. I think those guys are most certainly, certainly. Yeah, dead. they are. Titty bread. So Jerry, for each infantry unit, you'll get experience. So that's two for you, sir. That's good. We approve of this. And unfortunately, yeah, it would be great to follow up. But because of the bombard, you're being held you're in place. You're locked yeah. That's yeah. all right. I again, don't. Jerry and I spoke a bit about a bit before the battle, and the historians kind of differ a little bit on this to whether the English yeah. had gunpowder uh, units or not. But we represented it with this intrigue ability, where yeah. once through the entire game you're able to trigger this, and Justin's done it early to kind of stall that charge, which is great. There, there are people who believe they had bombards there. I don't, but that's me. Um, okay, so that's interesting. There, that's interesting. There. I will activate here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's going to be five units of peasants, or you have them beside. Okay. So this is, this is two yeah. separate yeah, areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, would you like so to recruit the priest? I would like to recruit the priest. Mm -hmm. um, so grab his card. Grab yourself a base. Are you going to, are you going to recruit him or discuss? With I'm going him? to discuss with him. Because oh, another discussion already. I need the intrigue. Okay. There's no, yeah. there's no point in not having the intrigue. Let me. Uh, so I don't need to worry about the priest. Let me print. So who are we having discussed? This is actually going to be the king well, himself. The king is the only character I have something. in there. So which card would you like to choose? Don't look at the uh, pick one at random. I can't, I can't even read them from here. <laughs> Does he That's have charisma? 
Philip? Yeah. No. No. Well, he's, I guess he's not so sociable. Oh. Don't need charisma when you're the king. <laughs> so you can say to the priest... You're not a king. Oh. I fight against darkness every day. Will you kindly bless my sword and grant me courage? Mm -hmm. Or you can chance it a little risky. You could say, are heretics threatening your parish in these difficult times? Mm -hmm. There is also a holy and unholy option, but I believe at the moment you're I, neither. I'm neither. So it is only those two options. So you may That's say, fine. "Bless, have your sword blessed or ask the priest about his parish. It is a risky I, one. I would like my sword blessed. All right. So you're going to have to do a test. The priest does say to you, you have my full support. I'll mm -hmm. never turn down a blessing to your crusader of God. We're going to ask you to see? test with a black dice mm -hmm. and see what you get. Service We're looking for a shield and we get one. If you get a shield, you draw one legend card and you get either an intrigue or a legend token. I would like a intrigue, please. So you get your one intrigue, first of all, for yep. starting the discussion. And then I get a second for... A second for... Three, and then you have one legend card as well. That's all good. No. Unlike the blacksmith. Just before you make the choice, because likes me. I should tell. <laughs> I should tell you everything, because you had the choice of an intrigue yes. or a legend token. If you take the legend token, there would be the option to ask a level two question. Uh, but if you take the intrigue, uh, it's going to give you your abilities. That's okay. No, we're fine there. Okay. So we're, well, you've discussed with the priest, so we can go yeah. ahead and take him off the board. I think you've done it already. He's, yep. He's perfect. already off here, so yeah. he's there. That's that. That's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, and now you have oh, some more hidden. I like it. There's some real tactics cards here that could come okay. in later. Now, you've still got the full activation, of course, with I that do. area. So these, these guys still have to take an, a, an action. That's right. Yeah. Now, he can't because he discussed. Oh, no, 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 he can. He can, he can still. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. That case, we shall move forward. Love it. So that is Philippe himself with the support of three units of pikemen. Yep. And I can recruit you without a character, but I can't discuss with a character. Is exactly that correct? Exactly right. Any unit in your army can ask the civilian to join. And you can pop a BS on them and tech the civilian's card. But yes, it requires a character to That's begin okay. a discussion. Well, we'll go in there for now. So you can pop a BS and on that civilian, yeah. And grab his card as well. And again, it's worth noting that when you're playing this home, if you recruit them, you'll have the, the civilian's card then in your army. And you can gain from their abilities. For example, the civilian one lets you gain experience. Gain experience, yeah. yep. And um, once per turn, which is great. Or you can discuss with them and tech that kind of path narratively to see if you can get a nice bonus. But it's sometimes risky. Can that be activated in the turn you recruit him? You have to activate him. To That's do okay. In that case, yet. I'm done for now. All okay. right. End of Jerry's first turn. Mm. Over to you, Justin. Right. Oh, this is this is now going to be super interesting. That was it. That bombard was was great. Like taking uh, advantage of the intrigue. I was I was just thinking I can interrupt Navid early. Yep. And make sure he can't hit my mm -hmm. lines on yep. turn one. Mm -hmm. So just buying time. Yep. Okay. Right now for the fun part. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to start by going here. Mm -hmm. And from here, I'm going to have the Earl go forward yep. with the two sets of crossbowmen. Yep. And unfortunately, it's only a five area because of uh, the rock there. So it yep. takes this up the space. Fine, but the, the Earl has a command range of one on one. Mm -hmm. So he will command. Hmm. So the question is, do I want to command anything there? I don't really think I need to. So I think I'm going to leave his command alone. Okay. But what's going to happen is Edward mm -hmm. is going to move across into this and area. join John Chandos on the flank. And on a command from him, he will bring the archers forward. Oh, I love it. Just for a little bit more in there. Yeah, you've strengthened the entire line. Now, interestingly, in the real battle, the English did suffer losses at the front, but then they were supported by the back. But you've decided stronger front line. Right? Which yeah, I'm was. just thinking as much crunchiness as I can get there. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. So uh, what we're going to have happen then yep. is... We're going to activate here. And just to check, there's no intrigue power from your side, Jared. No, no interrupts. No. All right. Uh, the bowmen here mm -hmm. are going to start the bidding with some shooting. Start mm -hmm. the bidding. <laughs> and they're going to shoot into here. Okay. Yeah. So bowmen, I've got four of them, so that's eight yellow dice. It is indeed. And nice. their uh, shields become disrupts, making them that bit more yes. lethal. Now, there are no kills on these dice, but yep. my hope is I can either push and break you apart a bit or just yep. be horrible. <laughs> so, let's see what we get. Ooh, I'll take that. Okay, so yeah, there's only so, one blank in there, wow. Yeah, so that becomes three disrupts, yep. five disrupts, and two pushes. Cool, so I'll get that. Okay, okay. I will take that all day long. All right, Jerry, what have you got on defense? So, Philip has two black dice, and then he's supported with pike. You have yellow dice. Mm -hmm. oh, we could see some some damage here. 
one shield. So that'll be four disruptions and two pushes. It's tough. Even a reroll token here could be used, but it's, yeah. it's still tough odds to get shield on those dice. If you say so. I have no idea what's on the dice, though. So the, the blacks are 50-50 chance of shields. Mm -hmm. The yellows only have a single shield on them. Potentially, I should see a second shield off the yellow dice. Now losing and losing Philip would not lose you the game. No. He was wounded anyway. To the jaw. He was. Arrow in the arrow, jaw? Arrow to the jaw. Oh, not in the knee. <laughs> he would have been able to fight on if it was in the knee. Mm. Um, uh, the, the interesting one for that is that saying is actually the Viking version of ball and chain. When I you take an arrow to the knee. Oh, okay. Wedlock? Kneeling down to propose. Love it. Oh, fantastic. I did not know that. No, I won't reroll. Okay. okay. So we're left with four disrupt four and two push. Three, yeah. um, so the disrupts always happen first, which means they're allocated across the three pikemen and then one, of course, to mm -hmm. Philip. Mm -hmm. um, so the three pikemen will all get disrupted. Yep. And then you're left Philip with simply takes. a push on Philip. Yep. And he, yeah, exactly right. So because Philip has two wounds, one of the disrupts go to him, and then we mm -hmm. cycle around the rest of the units in the area, and then anyone with multiple wounds soaks up the rest of the results, which in this case is a single push. Where's he going to get pushed to? This is the question. You should definitely push him forward, so he's closer to head. You see, during my turn, I could be really nasty and use my other intrigue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I could just should draw him that. straight in. Yeah. So Call I can't push here. him back into the village, can I? You can push him wherever you want as long as the space. You can push him back into the village 100%. Right. Well, he's, he is part of my victory conditions. Yeah. So I'll push him forward. Yes. No interruptions from you, Jerry? No. All right. I will then... No interruptions? No. No. Spend no. my intrigue. Mm -hmm. Move all units from an enemy area towards your rally point. Uh, no, he can't come any further forward because obviously he's right adjacent to you. Yeah, could yeah. I shimmy him into here and be closer? And he'll be further no, from the rally point. From the rally point. Uh, yeah. So he's—I mean—he's right adjacent to you right yeah. now. Those cavalry. Yeah. Uh, do they have any retaliation on them? No. Do they? No. No. That's All right. Not well, I'll spend it to draw them to me. Well, Charles the Magnanimous does. He has retaliation. One with retaliation, I'm not so worried about. So yeah, I'm just going to draw them all forward. So that I can then activate and attack. And it has to be all of them with the way it's worded, yeah, I believe. Yeah, it does. You can't just pick some out. You're goading essentially a section. Yeah, the... this is fine. I have a great question for actually, Jerry, because I, I struggle sometimes knowing what the correct terminology for these sort of uh, battalions or battles is almost a term that's used when, because the English, they split across three. Yes. Um, between the two towns, and obviously we're replicating that on the, the smaller board mm. here, kind of abstractly almost. Do you use the term divisions, battalions? What, cause the divisions and battalions are within a command structure. Yeah. yeah. Um, in most cases, the army would just be separated into left, right, flank, and yeah. centre. Yeah. So um, the, the black term group, battles sometimes get used, but yeah. sometimes it can be confusing. Yeah. Um, so the right flank was held by um, the Black Prince mm -hmm. specifically, he got sent out there. And we're about to see what the Black Prince mm. is going to do now. Uh, well, seven oh! red dice. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> you can't level up. Yeah, it's all right. However, yeah. uh, I am activating him, so I need to put this down. Yeah, oh my word. And when he's activated, I can move my own rally point. Oh, a bit of reverse rally point after Jerry moved his. Yeah, so I'm going to move it. Join me. Put it here. Oh, no, 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 no. Bold. No. Uh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in there. I think I'm just going to move it right up behind. On the hill? The line's on the hill, yeah. Love it. Is this is okay? interesting. You've reinforced the left. You're, you're, go, you're goading. Black Prince is goading the knights in on the right, and now you're going to attack them. Go across your stack lines. This is so awesome. Well, let's see what I get on the roll. That's a reasonable amount of damage. Uh, so there's... Three kills, two disrupt? Yep, three kills, two disrupt. Okay. And then just whatever you can do in defense. Okay. So, since Charles has retaliation, I'll rule him separately. Yes, please. Yeah, sure. Okay, Ooh, nice. Hold on. So Charles. And yeah. then uh, four white dice for the Knigets. No. No. Four black, black dice. dice for the Knigets and yes. a white dice for John. There we go. Yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. so te technically, uh, John's white dice is separate here because he has parry, which means you can actually re-roll this well, if you wish. Since he's uh, the only, only exactly, one. Exactly, that's it. Just make there. sure you keep it. Bum, bum, bum. See if one can re-roll that. Yeah. How many are we currently looking at? Oof. Uh, five. Five. 
things total. You've blocked one kill, so there's two kills and two disrupts. Um, I'll, yeah. I'll re-roll in there. He gets his re-roll anyway. In a way, yep. So I'll do his yep. re-roll first. That's yeah, that. re-roll Perfect. first. Nice. Yep. And then I'll re-roll three re-roll. blacks. Three blacks? Yeah, because you did get one oh, shield. Oh, yeah, I got a shield on. That's, it. That's, that's correct. It. We get more shields. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a re-roll. You're that well played. Very so nice. I have to accept two disrupts. So, yes, you block all five and, and disrupt two back. Yeah, so... The Black Prince could take one of them as a wound. He is two wound, a two-wound character at this stage. Yeah, what's yeah, the worst yeah. that could happen? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. It's not like he's in an activated area no. with a bunch of cavalry about to run him down. None of that. Yeah. Um, so I'll let... I'll let him take one of them. I'll be brave. Wow, he's gonna, he is going to earn his spurs. And I will let... So you have two foot knights and one sergeant at arms in there. I'll let the, the sergeant at arms get it because their defense is a red die. So they're the guys with the kite shield, that's yeah? That's it, that's them. Mm-hmm. So they're disrupted. Okay. Hater. Cool. And then I still have his command. Uh, yes, after, yeah, technically after the action, you still have the bonus action of command. So I'm going to command the archers to stand up as well. Okay. And that leaves me with an additional two actions to do some stuff, okay, which I think I'm going to save for a future round. However, one thing I'm going to do before ending my turn mm-hmm. is uh, John Chandras. Chandras, yeah. He's going to level up okay. to his holy side. Uh, how, much, how much experience will that cost? Two. Now, uh, it means you'd not have enough to upkeep him. Uh, te- now, te- technically, yeah, the timing on it, yeah. So just, it just during the council phase. Yeah, so te- technically you would, you would basically get the council phase token and then pay it immediately. Yeah, so that's absolutely fine. However, Edward is also level two. So you'd actually have double upkeeps to pay. Edward, level two, goes to level one. Honestly, his level two is not doing it for me. Okay. His level one is. All right. So I'll probably let him level down. Cool. All right. Seems legit. So pay your two experience. We get John Chandos to level two. He's level two and he's holy. Cool. That's you then? Uh, Yeah, he's got retaliation and tough now. Oh, tough is a brutal keyword. Really makes him hard to take out. Slayer and bodyguard. So the, side. the holy makes him far more resilient, the unholy makes him far more aggressive in yeah. this case. Three red dice in defense for him as well. Okay. And you're saving your two command orders. I am saving my last two command orders okay. for the next round. So we're going to jump on to the camp, camp phase. Yeah. So. Who wants to roll first? Um, Go on, Jerry. T- save your pikemen. Save my pikemen. So three pikemen to rally. Okie dokie. So first pike. Rallies. Rallies. Out to the way over on Yeah. Second pike. Rallies, ooh. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. One in three chance for an instant rally. And third pike. Ooh, we'll come back next we'll turn. We'll come back next turn. I can almost live with yeah. that, you know. And the Sergeant at Arms then for you, Justin. Edward the Third's ability during the camp phase, rally one allied troop. He's got it. Love right. it. So I just get to take them yep. and put them back. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Pay my upkeep for Charles. Three command orders apiece. I've got three here. Cool. And if you don't mind, I will have my XP. Uh, so you get one XP. And I will pay one XP. And you'll pay it. Mm-hmm. Edward III will level down. Cool. Okay. Oh, come on. He, let, he let his king go down to level one. Whoa. Yeah, because he's, his second ability he's, gets a lot better. Because he's not a king. If you just grab, grab your the orders. The best uh, thing he is, is a duke at most. <laughs> well, the way I'm looking at it as is. So mm-hmm. his second ability here. Yep is once per round, if I spend two myth, yep. I can turn a regular order into a reactivation. Yes, which could be Pretty epic. good. But on the other side, when I activate him, mm-hmm. uh, one allied bowman unit mm-hmm. up to two areas away can perform an attack. Nice. At this stage of the game, I'd rather be doing that. Absolutely. I'm trying to pick some holes. And I have no myth at the moment. Yeah, so pop him down to level one then, just to oh, make sure yeah, you've yeah, got right. the right side. All right, and awesome. then we get the river. We get the War Council cards. So first of all, we have an interrupt order in mm-hmm. blue. We have the ability to spend command orders to turn them into experience, three experience, or a command order for three legend tokens. And then we also have a straight up single command order as well. Hmm. Jerry, your first pick. It's an interesting one, isn't it? I'm going to have that though right now. Uh, I might know actually. Oh, oh are you going to pay one? Yeah, I'm going to pay one and take three legend, please. Three legend tokens. Oh, and I want to know what that card is. You have <laughs> oh, and I want to know. It's more fun than not knowing, do not think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the build up, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, just is really. Take that interrupt. Okay. Because it could be very useful right mm-hmm. now. All right, so we're, we're good to go, Jared. So over to you for your order fees. Okay, this should be short. 
Yeah. Int intrigues don't count as activations. Exactly. You essentially, you essentially can do it at any time on your yeah. turn, okay. or if it's your opponent's turn, you do it between their orders. Between their, their orders. Turn. All right. Okay. Some some intrigue powers do have specific timings. For example, there's ones that say when defending, when attacking, mm -hmm. for example, or when your opponent does something. So they will break that rule. So I'm going to use flee my king okay. from my adjacent hex. I'll scream at him. And as long as he's not disrupted, he can be moved to the French rally point. Oh, well, well, run, oh. Philip, run! <gasps> Nicely done. Interesting. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Right, the peasants, do they count towards my victory? Uh, well, essentially, for, for your victory, I mean, you're gonna if you last obviously until the end of the game, that's going to give it to you. You will get experience for the peasants. I'm just quickly checking to remind myself. Yeah, you're looking for twelve French or, or Genoese. Uh, I'm gonna get that wrong every time. Genoese. 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 I always get it slightly wrong. So yes, if you were able to get the peasants, they would be counting out of those twelve that you need. That's fine. Yep. And then we will activate there. Uh huh. Oh yeah. And let's check if John is gonna. Oh, nope. oh, oh it's John it there. Doing the thing. No, he's, he's fine. He's good. He loves it. Oof. He's good. He's all good. We're all fine here. Wow, here we go. This is big. This is going to so, hurt. Okay. I'm going to get you Hello, some red dice quite here. Quite a bit of defense there. Yellow, red. Black. Some red for you. Blacks. More red? <laughs> one more. Two more. So oh, my lord. Yeah. This so is... that's my Knigget's. That is Charles. That is John. I don't think we have any keywords we have to worry about. Parry is the only other nah, thing. Defensive, so, so you're yeah. absolutely fine. I have spent my reroll token though, which is a terrible shame. Yeah. I'm nervous. Look at that handful of dice. Oh my word! Oh, I got blank. So I'll take these out of the way. And there's another shield there. Okay. So the rest is all goodness. Four kills. Five kills. Five kills. Better again. Uh, two disrupts and three, three pushes. Push okay. So Justin. You so have I get, retaliation though, don't you? Yeah, we have to roll the retaliation separately. Isn't I do. Point so there. they have retaliation. Yeah. They do not. Yeah, so you have two two foot knights. Um, With retaliation. Uh, now, importantly, um, you've also got the bowmen, which are going to grant you, because the stacks there, an extra yellow, not retaliation. Uh, is it not an extra white in 1.5? No, 1. no, in 1.5. It used to be white. Okay. Now it's yellow. Okay. We've slightly nerfed Tweaked the effectiveness it. Okay. of stacks because it used to be uh, very, very effective. Now it's a one in six to give you that extra. Okay. Bonus. Well, uh, for the ones with retaliation. Yeah, so two foot knights are going to do this back. Oh, nope. That'll they take out two of the kills. Out. So the two kills gone. And then for my other dice. Not yeah, too bad. Two, two more. more. So that leaves you so with there is one, a kill. Yeah, one kill, two disrupt, and three push. Yeah, so I could let the black pin prince be disrupted, yeah? Yes, you absolutely mm. can. The kill has to be allocated first. So who do you want that to go to? Um, that can quite happily go on to the bowman. All right, so take I'll them out of there, and Jerry, you will grab yourself an another experience. You got it? Yep. I will then... Three minutes of bowman gone already, that's a moral victory. Uh, I think two so. disrupts. So I will allow disrupts on... He'll allow it. He'll allow it. He'll allow it. Allow it. Yeah. So you can disrupt the black prince. Yeah, so that's that one gone. And you can disrupt a unit of foot knights. Yeah. And you can push the other unit of foot knights. Okay, so, and the other two pushes essentially come to nothing. So where should we push you to? Uh, let's put you back there. Okay. Six one half dozen of the other. Okay. Worth noting, the stakes, of course, are going to prevent that follow yeah. up. So you're not going to be able to. Can't do that this turn. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to interrupt? I have an interrupt. That's why I'm asking. And it could be amusing. Always love it when tacticians do stuff for the giggles. Mm. Just. Be funny, be a laugh. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Sometimes it's more fun to do it that way, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it, kids? Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna interrupt and take a a shot at your uh, your peasantry. Oh, I'm on a hill. I've got plus one range. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And while that's happening, this gentleman here, the Earl, is gonna just have a, a little dander back one. He's chickening out, buggering off, yeah, running right. away. Yeah. Right. Boldly, boldly, boldly running away, away. Brave Sir Robin. Yeah. That's the one. All right, so we're looking at the old dice coming into the per 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 peasants. So they have no defense. Uh, yeah, the peasants have no defense. Yeah, I, I don't care. Um, they are, after all, yeah. peasants. Oh, that's not so good. That's... I'm going to spend my reroll on that. Oh, I would. Oh, rerolling on per peasants, my word. No, your, your one shield would have been a disrupt. I think you had one shield there, did you? Uh, I think I did. You can sit out. That yeah. Okay, one disrupt. But I, I, I kind of want to really just have Yeah, I, I see it coming. Oh, oh wow. Three more, so that's four of them so disrupted. four disrupts, yep. Okay. This so is fine. Pop them in the infirmary, Jerry. 
I'll clear they're, this away. They're just maimed or, or shot. They're, no, they could be fine. To, to be honest, it's another 500 years till the revolution. Oh, I really don't care about peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Typical French. <laughs> Typical, right. ro Typical royalty. My interrupt is done. Uh, you, can, you got your order right? Yes, you did. Awesome. Right, Jerry, back to you. Back yeah. to me. Keep it rolling. When I pray, yep. I guess... Either an intrigue, intrigue or, or a legend. Sorry, either an experience or a legend. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. We're all hungry for the intrigues. Hmm. No, no, I won't pray. No, I won't. I won't pray right now. Not right now. Right now, right now. I'll pick up these guys and yeah. go this way. You want to grab a wee experience from your civilian as well? Yep, whenever I activate him. I don't have to bring the civilian with me. If you leave I'm him, though, he will leave your recruit. He can't be left on his own. If he's going to stay okay, with you, he Okay, in that case, he, he will come with. Talking about so, civilians well, fact, we'll and peasantry, way. he can just be a wound, really, that just kind yeah. of, you know. Uh, now, this, because of this... Oh, because I know you get three into yeah. there? Yeah. No, in that case, I will go this way. Well, actually, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. XP, no, XP is not that... I'm not that worried about you're, XP. You're kind of getting a good amount of XP by just chopping down English right now. Yeah. So you may be all right without the civilian. But because he's still technically part of my army now, I can still move him now. Yeah. I'll throw him out there yeah. for the time being. And then essentially what will happen is he will lose your base ring. Yep. Because he's no longer, he's wandered, yeah, yeah. you've let him wander off on yeah, his yeah, own and yeah. leave your ranks. Basically. He's He knew the risks. And if he didn't, he soon will. <laughs> Look what we did, the Genoese crossbowmen, and we paid to bring them here. You were here already, <laughs> mate. <laughs> That's your order. That's me, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Justin, your turn too. All right, uh, the first order. All remaining systems will bow to the first order. It's going to go down on the bowmen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. seems good. They are just going to try and split up this this horribleness right mm -hmm. here. You see this? This I don't like. So we're going to take an eight dice roll against that, see yeah. if we can break you up a little bit. It's heavily armoured, but you're close. This could be the time to do it. It's, it's fine. How many dice do you roll in defence for that, Jerry? Many dice. Yeah, black many. for every mounted knight. Yeah. Straight up good odds. And then you've got your two characters. Which is two white and a yellow for him and a white yeah. for him. So yeah. three white, a yellow and four black for that grip. Yeah, pretty nicely bunched. Yeah. Well, I'll... Oh, do I want to? Do I mm, want to? Isn't it? Mm, I ah, think my shot's better ah, than one elsewhere ooh, then. I would. So I think what I'm actually going to shoot is the pair of cavalry here. They're okay. quite heavily armoured. You know who's not heavily armoured? Who's bowmen over there? They're from Wales. <laughs> I would have them. <laughs> Frankly, I, I am not like the treacherous French in this scenario who are killing hired you know, folks. You've paid them good money. Are you taking the money back off the dead bodies? To be fair, we, we only pay them at the end of the battle. It's cheaper <sighs> that way. <laughs> All right. So let's try and get those uh, two French cavalrymen down there. That's okay. Right. Oh, Ooh, Justin. That's You're, pretty good. So yeah. that's three disruptions and three pushes. Yep. And that's enough. Okie dokie. And our survey says... Ba, 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 ba. Can we see them? No. No, no, I can't. No. Disrupted. Only disrupted. Yeah. They, could, they could rally. Yeah, I don't, don't care. Yeah, but there's a reason they're back there and not forward with the rest of us. I mean, here's the thing, as There's so much disrupted. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, you it's can't a bring full a lot rally back point. On. It is a full rally point. Oh, that's okay. If I can't bring them back on, are they killed? Essentially, they will stay here. They will not leave the infirmary. But do they go into the... In the waiting zone. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah okay. I, really, I don't mind if okay. people are slowly tracking their way back to me. Yeah. yeah, let's just get rid of the... It's a real interesting one for the English because you, you don't want to kind of go too aggressive, leave those stakes behind, split up your forces, go chasing people, but you also want to take weaken them as much as possible. Yeah. And his command is for one tax. Oh, that's okay. One here. Okay. Bring these two together. Nice. One here. Yeah. Just for a little bit of a buffer. I don't yeah. mind if they die. And they've got retaliation. They can take some guys with them. Yep. Yeah. They haven't so got. far. This is true. One left over. I'll just save that. Yeah. But again, those stakes are going to stop that follow-up again. That's so right. he's holding yet his line, which is really nice. Yeah, but he's, he's paying the price to do it. Yep. There's an awful lot less Englishmen there than there had been previously. <laughs> True. Okay, True, grab your orders back, Justin, if you are wrapping up. Are you uh, keeping that one? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. So one, two, three, four used. Well, we do have a big infirmary There's turn here. One of Jerry's. Mm. Um, let's, so, Jerry, you definitely can fit one mm. back in. So what do you want to start with? Peasants I, or mounted knights? You choose. Can, can I roll? First, or then you have see? to roll for a unit. Well, yes, yeah, actually, technically, yeah, you have them. Yeah, with I'm, I'm going to push back. them in. That's fine. But that makes the decision mind. easy for you. Yeah, 
Cool. Um, and then I'll start rolling. Yep. So the Flower of French Chivalry. Dead. Oh, that's two experience for you, Justin. Second yeah. flower. Stays where he is. And then peasantry. One dead. dead. That's one for you. Peasantry. Stays. Disrupted. Peasantry. Rallies. rallies. So he will wait. Peasantry. And he rallies. Will wait that's chance. all right. I can so live with those results. That was two, two, and two. Did you get three experience in total, Justin? Uh, I got two. And one more for the peasants. One more for the peasants. So you are currently three of the units required um, yep. for destroyed or disrupted. Yep. So you've got two big rolls. You've got some foot knights, and then you've got the black prince. Actually, the black prince is just going to rally. Auto rally because of dad. Because oh, of dad. Now what's, what's the ability? Oh, he's got... During the camp phase, yeah. rally one allied troop. Ah, he is not a troop. He ah, is a character. So I must... Oh dear. So we can bring the foot knights back? You want to yeah, bring them yeah, for yeah. free? Yeah, bring, bring the foot knights on back. Just there pop them go. in here. That would be oh. terrible if the black prince died. I'd cry for and I don't my reroll token. This would change about the Caesar Calais, right? The Caesar Calais right here. Oh, he dies. <gasps> Dead. Bong. Oopsies. Oh, well. oh, he's not earning his spurs today. No. Do I get XP? Three friend? XP you get, Jerry. Oh. And that is one of your two victory conditions. If you're able to take out Edward. Where's Teddy Baby? <laughs> over there. <laughs> he has gone oh, to yeah. the other they're, flank. They're yeah. over here. We'll be coming to see you soon. <laughs> Yeah, so start of turn three, that's it. Well, I gain one, I pay one. Gain one, pay one, that's fine. Yep. I'll pay mine. You're both going to grab four. Okay, that's uh, good one, two, news. Three. I've got Sorry, some okay. really. four. That gives me a grand total of five again. So four commands. Mm -hmm. We've got three War Council cards. We have a reactivation order. We have the ability to draw two legend cards, gain one legend token, and then discard one of your legend cards. Or you can trade command orders for experience or legend tokens. I'm going to take a reactivation. Cool. I'll also grab a reactivation. Ooh. I, whenever you have two hard lines meeting together, those mm. reactivations become very important. So I can very see why you both the, went for it. Very yeah. important with the stakes. Yep. When the stakes are high. <laughs> huh? Mm? Huh? Isn't oh, it? Isn't damn it? Puns. Damn it? puns. You loved it. You know you loved it. Don't you try and pretend you didn't. Come on. You, you're the master of the dad jokes. I, lo I love the dad jokes. All right, Jerry, start your turn three. What's the thoughts? I want to kill all the English. I don't actually want them to get off this field. So let's see how I can annoy his happiness. No immediate interrupts visible. No, and no intrigue tokens I either. So you are, you are free, free to play away. That's all delightful. I'll also isn't? remove the Black Princess card just so oh. I don't get confused. I have a little rule I haven't told you about actually. Four. We spoke about it before, but I, haven't, I want to remind you about mm -hmm. it now because it could be quite important. So the French are very tenacious. Hmm. They're obviously very keen to keep charging, pushing through, and to uh, kind of represent that in the game. You can spend, on your turn, two experience to heal a wound hmm. on one of your characters. That's a good rule. I like that rule. I might do that on the way. Ha. Huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh, isn't it? Yeah. So just to recap at home what Jerry's having to think. So Justin has currently got three units. Um, well, technically you have three destroyed and two disrupted right now yeah. in terms of trying to get to your 12 for victory. And again, you're after one French character and Philippe, which neither are currently done. Jerry's after the Black Prince and Edward III or the wagons at the back. Yeah, th this is kind of why I'm, I'm throwing up these guys here, kind yep. of sacrificing. Because the longer I can stop him getting through here, Absolutely. the better odds I have of maybe getting a little bit of focus down into here. It's almost kill the king at this point. It's who can break the morale of the forces first. Mm. Now activate there. Okay. I'll spend two to heal. Love it. Philippe. Mm -hmm. uh, Makes my life more difficult. Philippe, Philippe's a potential level up option for he, you. He well, is. Yeah. But if I level him up, if I don't have the... Uh, to the experience them, to yeah. keep the pair of them up. Uh, so some characters, you'll find when you play Joan of Arc, some characters when they level up, you simply flip them over and they can go from one to two. Other characters like Philippe can choose two different level two paths of holy or unholy, like John Chandos could as well. And this can give you very different styles of play, which can really affect your strategy in the middle of the game. Um, unholy tends to be a little bit more authoritative, a bit more aggressive, with more command. Holy tends to be a little bit more supportive, a little bit more defensive, generally speaking. Also, mm -hmm. Um, oh, you needed an order from John Chandos that we didn't give you. Yeah, and from the one before that as well, but that's my fault. Oh. I will be, level him nice up, you know. I will. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't so, care. Well, thank you. I will level up. Because troops in his area gain charge when I level up. And you've chosen to go holy? Hmm. Oh. 
Because there is no other way to go yep. with the King of France. Yep. He is super holy. Oh, fantastic. Which means this becomes a charge order. Yep. Oh, interesting. Bush, 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 bush. Hello, Bowman. Oh, oh, my goodness. He's charging, leading the pikemen on the flank. This is... Hmm. Interesting, certainly, isn't it? Oh, this mm -hmm. is cool. So, one, two, three. Yep. And then he now has two. Two red. Oh. So. Oh, Bowman. Bowman. Oh, boy. Ooh, two, disrupts. two disrupts might be enough. Can't do anything about the shieldings. Defense. Two lights. Uh, no, neither. No so just let me quickly check. I'm just seeing if there's any chance you can get a reroll from this. If we have a, have a look at your sheet for the town, I'm just reminding myself of what the new rule is for this. So, uh, town village squares. Uh, when defending, may reroll one die. There we go. Ooh. Direct shooting can reach the area but not pass. So you through. may okay. reroll one of these dice. I will. Whoop. No. 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 Okay. Excellent. So both, both disrupted. disrupted. Yep. Now, unfortunately, Philippe won't be able to follow up because he's not allowed to go into the town. Yes. Because, again, he should be focusing on the battle. But the but pikeman could. Can. Absolutely, yeah. if you want to. Oh, I think I will, because that would put me in a position where I'm behind a stakeage and leaves him interesting possibilities. Oh, my word. So, that's not bad for one. Yeah. It's interesting. Isn't it, though? Isn't it interesting? <laughs> and then... I'll activate them again. Oh my word. Oh, you coming on? Oh, he sees, he's got... And then I'll activate <gasps> them again. Oh. The flank is happening. And there's no... You haven't left any interrupts. No, You haven't I left have an not. intrigue. I'll attack he's, your base camp. They're going for it. Oh, well and there's, no, no, no. It's not. There has to be a roll. There has to be a roll. There has to be a roll. Okay. So, normal attack dice. Normal attack dice. Three white attack. So when you attack a wagon, I'm just mm -hmm. going to, before you roll it, make sure it's the wagons are stationary. There's, you, there's no one defending it. Reaction on oh, standby. You've got reactivation as well. So Man. on a kill, mm -hmm. a disrupt, or a push, you'll get this. The white dice does have a shield and a blank. So I still could fluff it. You still, uh, two shields Twice. and a blank. Two shields and a blank. Potentially. So 50 50, 50 on each dice. One. One goes away. One wagon is away. One. Reactivation. Oh, he's going after the supplies. This is it. So we're looking for any any kills, disrupts, or pushes. One more time. 50-50 in his dice. <gasps> oh, I on the last. <laughs> well played, Jerry. That was well done. I didn't see that coming. So with I... that, with that essentially, the, the whole plan for the Siege of Calais, the whole plan for the English to regroup and take all the supplies that they've just been pillaging. You had a duchy. You could have kept your duchy and swore fealty to me. But no. No, you decided you wanted to be king of my country. And there's only one king. That was very well played, Jerry. I did yeah. not see that Every comment. single order was required to do what you just did. That yeah. was absolutely yeah. incredible. But my, my focus was so hard over here mm. on this big, nasty yep. unit just trying to punch through yeah. the lines. He snuck in the back door. He absolutely did. That was well done. Delightful. Very right. nicely done. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, drop your comments in below. Tell us what you thought of that one. I enjoyed that. Jerry was very clever on that one. We'll move on. We'll see you again soon. Alpha strike, Alpha strike. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.